It's been a little over two months now since a 73-year-old woman was run over by a Bangor Community Connector bus. She is still in the hospital, listed in good condition. New Center, Maine has seen legal documents indicating her plans to sue the city for $15 million. Here's Hannah Yashivi. Amaryllis Fisher in happier times. Known as Amy, the 73-year-old woman is a sister, mother, grandmother, world traveler, and has a high sense of fashion. She recently bought a house on the northern coast of California. And the house is going through escrow, and so she said, well, she didn't want to stay in a hotel in Rancho Mirage and waiting for it to go through escrow, so she would travel. Those travels brought her to Maine. Bango was the choice. Because she looked on the internet and she saw that Stephen King had a mansion here. There was a must-see, as well as Paul Bunyan. And so it, she was kind of invited to Maine. So Amy hopped on a plane and traveled cross-country on a vacation by herself. A vacation cut short by tragedy. Amy was standing right about here when a community connector bus was coming down Hammond Street and taking a right on Main Street. The Bangor Police crash report says the driver thought she hit that pull, but she actually hit Amy. From this intersection, Amy was rushed to the hospital. Major surgery on her right leg, uh, broken pelvic, a broken left leg. In fact, at one time she was having surgery every other day. I think this went on about two or three weeks. Her attorney, Charles Gilbert, has filed legal notice with the city of Bangor, plans to sue for $15 million. In a statement to New Center, Maine, Gilbert says, we are hard at work to look for and establish all the possible insurance coverage and exceptions to immunity out there. But this is a case where the initial presentation is the city saying we only have limited insurance. The $15 million is to cover medical bills, continued hospitalization, pain and suffering, and need for lifelong care. Her long-term care is going to take millions and millions of dollars. You know, she's going to need some provider there to, uh, like a full-time person. Expenses for which Amy hopes to get Maine to pay, as people can sometimes sue cities or towns under a statute called the Maine Tort Claims Act, which sets out different immunities and waivers that might allow someone to collect for their injuries. As her brother says, she cheated death and is now busy writing poetry from her hospital bed, somehow in good spirits and in rehab. In Bangor, Hannah Yeshivi, New Center, Maine. Now, attorney Frederick Costlo, who is representing the city of Bangor, tells New Center, Maine he can't comment on the case. And the superintendent of the Community Connector Bus Service in Bangor also declined to comment on the accident or the potential lawsuit.